things that most people want in life. Right now with the economy, I put, put, I put down, you get a job, or you get a promotion. So you want to visualize in detail the persons who are interviewing you. If you have information, you know exactly who it is you'll be talking with, and you have their photo or their image, or you've met them before, you want to visualize from beginning to end exactly the way you wish the whole interviewing process to go. You shake you hands. Did, uh, I mean, except for the person, you can... Even if you don't know the person, to do that it still helps. You shake hands, they laugh, they smile, there's an instant connection. Every question they ask you, you answer back, and they are completely impressed. They're ready to hire you on the spot. Okay, you visualize that they're walking you around the office, introducing you to everybody, and they're happy that they've met you, and you're happy to be there. The instant connection. You send that message out to those people already. So even if they are not aware, something is already changing. They feel something. Mm -hmm. So you need to know how to do this. And sometimes people, if they have very heavy karma, or if they have not developed their tranquility and healing meditation to a point strong enough, they don't know how to visualize. They can't visualize it because they're stuck. So even they want these things to happen to them, they can't see it. That is why later on you'll see how important it is to have a different chi art to help us visualize. Okay. So the visualization. Or for love relationships. So many of us are always asking, Jenny, do you believe in soulmates? Is there that one special person out there for me? So to get that love, you have to channel, you have to send that frequency, that message out and say, hey, I'm over here. I'm ready now. I'm ready now. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> One thing is to say it, but then the other thing is to be truly ready. You can say, I'm ready, I'm ready, but truly, if you look, self reflect yourself, oh, maybe you're not ready. And then that preparation will help channel that person to come in. So a lot of people, they get panicked. But Jenny, I'm 40, I'm 50, I have to find the person. I said, no, you rush. You find the wrong one, you waste your time, you get hurt, mm -hmm. you start all over, and you create baggage for yourself. Mm -hmm. You create negative cell memories that hurt your health. Mm -hmm. So don't rush, don't be anxious. God has the timing for you. When is the right time that person will come? Perhaps you need to go through a certain experience to learn certain things, to become that person to match that mate. Mm -hmm. So do not be anxious. Age is nothing. Mm -hmm. My father, can you guess how old he is? <laughs> <laughs> Finish projects. So many people have goals, dreams, they cannot achieve it. They cannot visualize beginning to end. Because they have karma, they have hesitation, they don't have the first two levels of the meditation strong. They don't have a sense of who they are yet. They have still the doubt and the fears. So we have to, we have to achieve those levels before we can get here. And you need to visualize the entire process from beginning to end, just exactly you want it to go. It could be writing a book, it could be become a teacher, it could become a, get a certain license, whatever it may be. You have to be strong enough to visualize it. Protection from accident. Some people are born with stars, all darkness. Everywhere they go, they get in car accident, they lose money, people take advantage of them, they get sick, nonstop, one after another. That part of their karma. So transformation of meditation helps them release those karmas, release those debts so that they don't have to always be getting hurt. And then finally, of course, to generate more income and more wealth and more abundance in their life. So none of these can be done if you are not peace in mind, if you cannot, if your muscles, your mental muscles are not strong enough. This is a level that mm -hmm. takes practice. So your question, how long does this take? <laughs> It depends on your karma, it depends on your situation, it depends on how much you practice. Some people, they have very, very heavy karma, they can practice every day, deeply, and it would take them still 10 years. Some people have very light karma, and if they're in a turning point in their life, and they have paid off all their debts, and their energy is cleared up, it could take them one year. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. so now we'll talk about that one. That's another story. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very good. Very good question. Sometimes it's a good question, but sometimes it's a serious, silly question. Ignore. <laughs> yeah, that's common sense. Karma is what you did previous life, and you are what you did everything in this life, and they all come back to you. 
become the obstacle we call karma. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tell yeah. exactly what happened to you in this life. So you would find, okay, I got married, and then the person cheated on me and ran off with all my money. Very likely, in a previous life, we did this to this person. <laughs> yeah. So, we call cause and effect. There always has to be that balance. In any relationship, we see it like two glasses. I can feel your glass. You feel very happy and loved. And now I'm empty. If you feel my glass, I feel happy and loved. If we continue to do this back and forth, back and forth, we constantly feel fulfilled. But if I keep filling your glass and you never feel mine, what's going to happen is an imbalance. And I die with an empty cup and you took all of it. Next life, hello, <laughs> your turn. <laughs> you have to give back. This happens. So cause and effect, that's karma. Have you heard of people say, uh, I come to you and I, I, for no reason I hit you. And then I sit down, I set a nail. And it feels like instant karma. <laughs> there is a balance of the return. You cheat somebody, they will cheat you back. The energy has to return. This is how it works. So if we realize that, we are very careful with what we do. We learn. When we love this person, when we appreciate this person, that is credit. Karma credit, not karma debt. It will come back to us.